Hi, I'm Sean Gamp, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing absolute value functions. And graph each function. It's a hard equation. <laughs> so if I was given this equation, y equals a negative absolute value, x minus 2, and then minus a 2 on the outside. Okay. Well, when I get this, the first thing I want to do is find the vertex. Now we're in our standard form right there, so our h value is a positive 2, right? Because minus 2 is a positive 2. And then this k, right, it's a negative 2, so k is a negative 2. Okay, and this gives us our vertex. So we first need to get that point. Vertex 2, comma, negative 2. Over 2, down 2. Right there. Okay, so let's go with that vertex here. Uh, 2, negative 2. Okay. Then, our a value is negative, so we have like almost a shape that looks like it's going to be a roof, right? A shape right there. It's going to be upside down v, it's because it's negative. Now that's negative 1 slope, so we follow that. We have down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1, okay, with a negative slope. And then we're going to mirror that left, down 1 to the left 1, down 1 to the left 1, okay? Now we connect the dots to make our graph. Okay, so that's make our graph. Now we have our final answer. So a quick recap, we're given y equals the negative absolute value of x minus 2, and then we have minus 2 on the outside. That gives us a vertex of positive 2, comma, negative 2. Okay, plot that down. Our a value is a negative 1. That's out front there. So negative makes it a roof shape. Then we have a slope of negative 1. We went down one to the right one, down one to the right one. Mirror that to the left, okay? Then we have our graph, which is our answer.